All right, we're looking at the P7H55M Pro today. Very nice motherboard by Asus. Uh, it's actually got the H55 chipset, which is slightly different, integrated GPU, uh, and as you can tell uh, by looking at it, it's actually uh, a smaller motherboard. It is a micro ATX form factor, uh, so it is kind of small, but don't let its diminutive size fool you. It is very powerful, and it is very uh, fully featured, starting off with that CPU right there. That is the 1156 socket for Intel. Uh, so basically, that's going to fit your Core i3, your Core i5, and your Core i7 processors. That means that you can uh, pretty much uh, design this to go with the system that you want to build to, you know, for whatever your uses are. If you're going to do a simple workstation, i3 is fine. Uh, if you need to do video editing, an i7 is going to fit in there, no problem as well. Uh, now, over here, you can fit up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. That's right, 16 gigabytes. So if you were to use four gigabyte sticks, uh, that would be up to 16. Very, very powerful as far as that goes. Uh, it has four plus two phase power, so it's got two phases for the memory four phases for the CPU, uh, and that's good for overclocking, and it does overclock very well. It does have the Turbo V system from Asus, as well as the Turbo Key system uh, from Asus. Basically, those let you overclock from inside the operating system, so that's very, very nice. Uh, also, you'll notice you do have a PCI Express X16 slot right there. That means that you can put a very nice uh, graphics card in here, and if you want, the onboard integrated graphics will give that GPU a boost using the GPU boost feature that's only by Asus. Uh, you have also have two PCI slots, uh, as well as up here you have a PCI Express uh, X1, conveniently located at the top. Uh, now let's look at the back because there's a lot of good features back here. Start you off from over here, uh, you have a PS2, uh, then you have USB 2.0, there's actually six total on the back and there's another six inside the motherboard via headers. You have an HDMI port with the SPDIF directly above it, that's your uh, optical multi-channel audio out using a tossing cable. You have a DVI and a VGA, so basically you have three ways of connecting your monitors here. Uh, depending on what you have, you can do digital, HDMI, or you can do the uh, VGA. More USB 2.0 ports over here. This up here is your 10, 100, 1000 Ethernet. And then finally, uh, back here, 7.1 channel HD audio. So eight channels of audio. Uh, I'm going to move it over down here, show you the SATA ports. You have six SATA ports in total. That means you can do RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, uh, and RAID 10, or RAID 1 plus 0. Uh, you also have an IDE port, Y. Nobody knows, but it is there in case you have some ancient hard drives. Uh, ironically enough, a few overclockers use the IDEs because uh, SATA doesn't affect, or ID doesn't affect the performance sometimes of the computer. Uh, but basically, that's it. Down here are your uh, multiple USB headers that I was talking about. So you have three right there. That's up to six ports in total. Uh, and then also, if you go a little bit over right here, there's an additional FireWire header, um, which is pretty useful to have as well. Uh, and then besides that, you'll just notice the very nice layout of the board. Uh, very nice features for cooling, all the chipsets. Uh, it's all passively cool. There's no fans on here. It doesn't produce a lot of heat, but it is a two-chip uh, board. It's basically the processor and the H55 chipset. Everything else on this board uh, is run from internally. So the memory controller is built into the processor, uh, and the PCI Express lanes and everything go through the H55 chipset all the way to the CPU. And that's basically it. Uh, a very nice board. There is one more thing worth noting. Uh, and I'll tell you that right now, that this ASUS board has a three-year warranty. So if you're building this for, um, for work, for a business, if it needs to be a workstation, it needs to be reliable long-term, it's actually really nice because you don't usually see computers that will have a three-year warranty on a motherboard, uh, and this one does. So very, very nice board. Uh, it's the P7H55M Pro motherboard by ASUS. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Asus P7H55M Pro Micro ATX motherboard, type in A455-2932 into any major search engine. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.